Hey YouTube, my name's Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to be doing part 4 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. In the last tutorial we go to this, which is the scanner. And uh, due to YouTube's 10 minute time limit, uh, I didn't get to show you these, which are basically the rest of these uh, arithmetic constants that we did, subtract, multiply, divide, and semicolon, and equals. Um, but this is what it looks like, and uh, so today we're going to be coding the AST. And the AST is just a bunch of classes that makes it easier to code the parser and the code generator. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a public abstract class. We're going to name this STMT. Now this is going to be uh, an empty class. And after that, we're going to type in a public class declare var. This one's going to have a printer class of STMT. Within this, we're going to have a public string. We're going to call this one ident. We have a public expression. Now, the expression hasn't been declared yet, so it's not going to be recognized as a string. Or, sorry, as a class. And do a public class. It's going to be print. It's going to have a printer class of STMT. And after that, I'm going to do a public expression. Call it expression. I'm going to do public class assign. It's going to have a printer class of STMT. Within this, we're going to do a public string. I'm going to call it ident. After that, we're going to do a public expression. Title expression. After that, we're going to do a public class, and this one's going to be for loop. It's going to have a frontal class of STMT. And in this class, we're going to give it a public string. Call it ident. I'm going to have a public expression. This one's going to be from. Then another public expression. This one's going to be to. And for that, we're going to have a public stmt, and this one's going to be titled body. After that, we're going to do a public class, and we're going to title it read int. And within this, we're going to do a public string. It's going to be titled ident. After that, we're going to do a public class. It's going to be sequence. It's going to have a frontal class of STMT. And then this we're going to do public STMT first. Public STMT. Second. Then we're going to declare a public abstract class, and this one's going to be titled expression. Nothing's going to be in this class, just like the STMT class. And after that, we're going to do a public class, and this one's going to be string literal. This is going to have a parental class of expression. And within this, we're going to do a public string value. After that, we're going to do a public class, and it's going to be titled int literal. 
Stand for no class of expression. I'm going to public int value. And after that, we're going to do a public class bin expression. Let's so have a kernel class of expression. We have a public expression left. Public expression right. And then we have a public bin op. Call it op. And then we're going to have a public class variable. The kernel class of expression. Within this, we're going to have a public string ident. Then after that, we're going to have public enum. Gonna be bin off. We're gonna do add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And we're gonna do one more class, and that's going to be. Public class is going to be pause object. It's going to have a frontal class of stmt. Within this, we're going to have a public string ident. And there you go. That is the AST. And in the next tutorial, we're going to start coding the parser. And that's where you'll start seeing most of what we did with the EBNF form in the first and second tutorials coming in um, and uh, we'll see you then